Hi, my name is Robin Kelly. I'm the cemetery administrator for the town of Howitch. And I'm here with Cindy Eldridge from the cemetery commission as well. She's our chair. Um, we're here to talk about Article 59 on this year's town meeting, which is um, to develop a pet cemetery and possibly a crematory at some point. Um, um, how this came to our attention is, while well, I was attending the New England Cemetery Management Seminar in December, uh, there had been a bill filed in the Massachusetts State House by pet owners wanting to have their pets buried in their cemetery lots. Uh, most rules and regulations for cemetery departments strictly forbid this, and so ours is, do as well. Under our regulations in Section 2, it states that um, cemeteries are only for human remains. So trying to come up with a solution in case this bill gets passed, which I'm pretty sure that it probably will at some point, um, we wanted to give our uh, residents an option for their pets in our town. Um, I contacted Ed Hildebrandt, who owns the pet uh, cemetery in Crematory in Plymouth, and um, he gave me a layout of how his operations works and how the different um, areas in the cemetery are. There's regular traditional burial grounds for pets, as well as scattering gardens. And he told me about all the different areas of the pet industry. Um, the American Pet Products Association estimates that pets will spend about $60 billion this year on products and services. Uh, we um, want to fill this need in our town. So while we were trying to find out a space that would fit for a pet cemetery, uh, we had to contact uh, Paula Champagne, our Board of Health Director, and Amy from our Conservation Department to find out uh, which parcels would be a good fit. We needed to make sure that there were no endangered species on the lots, that we were not in the water table, and what lots were already owned by the town that would be an easy fit. Um, we came across the one lot, which is 276 Queen Anne Road, it's directly across from the DPW barn where it currently sits. Um, we will be, um, if it gets transferred into our care and custody, uh, the DPW department and um, the cemetery department will work together to create the cemetery. Uh, we will, it'll be like a park-like cemetery. It'll have um, a gazebo in the center, mm -hmm. walking trails, and pets will be allowed to go in there and um, there'll be paths, there'll be flat memorials and scattering gardens. There'll be no upright memorial, so when you look at it uh, aesthetically, it'll just look like a park and there'll be uh, benches and stuff. Uh, at some point, we're gonna uh, have a picture on the screen so that you guys can see. Cindy? And there's the picture of the gazebo and the walkways going through, which you can walk your pets that are with you now through or go visit a loved one. And there'll be rose bushes that you can see all planted around the paths. And uh, there'll be a scattering garden also. There's benches, of course, along the way for you to sit on. But there'll also be a scattering garden where you can actually scatter the ashes of your pet if you wish. And of course, they can also be buried there. Um, so we're gonna be uh, working with uh, local um either garden clubs or with landscape companies to try to get their input on different uh, garden settings. Um, I'm gonna reach out to the tech. I talked to somebody over there already and um, see if we can come up. The other thing, concept that we all need to come up with is a name for our pet cemetery. <laughs> uh, clearly we don't wanna call it the pet cemetery. So um, <laughs> any uh, suggestions or recommendations from uh, the public would be, the cemetery commission would love to hear them. So if you have any more questions, you can either contact me at, down at my office or send an email. Uh, all of our information is on the website. You can go right to the cemetery department and click on the link for my email address, which is just rkelly at the town of Howitch. Um, so if you have any more questions, we would love to hear from you. Absolutely. So yeah. we hope we have your support for this article and uh, we'll see you at town meeting. Thank you. Thank you.